what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? So now we know we'll never see a video of Kanika Jenkins walking into the freezer where she was found dead at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois, because according to a spokesperson for the hotel, it doesn't exist. Backstory. Kanika Jenkins was a 19-year-old young woman who went to the Crown Plaza Hotel on September 8th to party with some friends in one of the rooms. She came up missing overnight and 24 hours later, her body was found in the freezer. Since then, wild speculation everywhere. Her family suspects foul play, the police, the hotel, and other authorities wants them to just give it up, let it go. She inadvertently caused her own death. That is what they want the family to believe. That is what they want the public to believe. They say that there was no camera trained on the freezer where she was found dead inside. There's only one little problem with that. The mother publicly stated that she saw a camera above the freezer and she asked one of the detectives who was there, did the camera work? He said he didn't know. So, right there, that's a contradiction. That is a bold-faced lie right there. Man, it's something that's not right about this case. I spoke with a source that is very close to the mother and the case. He tells me that the police is being very aggressive with the protesters who are out in front of the hotel. The hotel is losing money. They can't get guests to come in. They want this to go away. They want this to be over with ASAP. And the police want it to be over too. They're arresting people. The, the organizers of the protest, they are having to pay out of pocket to bond people out of jail because the police keep changing the rules. They keep moving the goalposts. They're saying that, hey, y'all too loud. One day they tell them they're too loud. They got to bring it down. Then they tell them, hey, you can't stand over here. And then, you know, you can't, uh, you can't walk that way. So, and they're following people as they split off from the crowd and they're catching them by themselves and they're harassing them. So if there's nothing to hide, if they mean the family any good, why aren't they being cooperative? Why are they being so hostile toward the people who are looking for answers, who are peacefully protesting? Why are they being hostile? Why isn't the hotel being more accommodating to the family? In fact, the hotel should offer for the mother to live there, to stay there while she's protesting. Yeah. If you ain't got nothing to hide, she's going to protest anyway. They're protesting anyway. You know, take care of the mother and you know, get a mother a couple of rooms or whatever and, and let her know, hey, you know, we're we trying to work with y'all. I mean, I understand, you, you know, you got your right to protest and you want to protest. You know, y'all go ahead and do that. But, you know, we're going to try to continue our business and go on with our business. But at the same time, we want to respect, you know, your rights. We want to respect your, 
your feelings. We want to respect the fact that you have a daughter who was found dead in our hotel and and we feel somewhat responsible for all of this. So the hotel could use this opportunity to highlight hospitality. I don't think they'd do it because quite frankly, this is a cover up, man. I'm beyond thinking it's a cover up. I know it's a cover up. I ain't gotta be no damn detective. I ain't gotta go to no damn school for criminology or none of that. This is common sense, man. This is a cover up. If it was not a cover up, why did they take so long to release the tapes in the first place, the ones that they did release? And when you look at those tapes, there's a gap in the time. You have an intoxicated young woman walking around the hotel for a complete hour and nobody notices? Think about what I'm saying. Even a guest would be concerned if they saw something like that. She's walking around the hotel, just out of it, gone. Somebody saw that girl staggering around that hotel. Somebody saw. You got to take a closer look at the workers in the hotel, specifically the security guy. Who's ever supposed to be monitoring those cameras? They dropped the ball on purpose. Let's say you took a five minute break, a 10 minute break, make it 20 or 30. Went to eat, went to the bathroom to take a dump, went outside to holler at somebody, went up to one of the rooms, maybe even the party room, got him a little something to drink, chatted up a little bit, came back down. Okay, some kind of gap, but a whole hour, it don't work like that. Something is up. This is a cover up. The guy who owned the hotel is said to be real cozy with Donald Trump. That right there alone will throw up red flags. The family's calling for the FBI to get involved. I mean, you're talking about Jeff Sessions. This is a 100% bona fide, proven, redneck, low-down racist. You can forget that. Any call on the FBI is going to fall on deaf ears. If they even act like they're going to open up an investigation, it'll all be for show. You're on your own on this one. Family is going to have to get some independent investigators and they're going to have to crack this case and they're going to have to spread it to all media in hopes that one of them will have the guts to expose what's really going on. I also heard some talk about this particular hotel being involved in organ harvesting. Now that would be really plausible. Think about it. You get a disoriented, intoxicated young woman in your hotel, catch her out of pocket, put her in the freezer. Especially the chick from the hood, Chicago. Ain't nobody going to miss her. That's what they're thinking. They didn't know that this case was going to blow like it did. They didn't anticipate the interest in this case. They didn't anticipate that she had a loving, caring mother and other family members who was going to ride for her and was not going to leave a stone unturned. They didn't anticipate that. This is a cover up, plain and simple. Now, as we expose law enforcement and their involvement, their actions, the hotel officials and their employees' actions, 
let's not forget how we got here in the first place. Those so-called friends that were in that room who drugged her up. The ones who left an intoxicated friend all alone wandering around a hotel. Or did they really leave her? They know exactly what happened. And they need to be exposed. Justice for Kanika. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas. Order, Texas.